InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We've got it. This transmission is coming to you. Waging war on corruption. All right, you are go. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines right, of the info war. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex today. We're going to be taking your calls just a moment. I got uh, lined up on the phone Jalen out of Alabama, Chris in Kentucky, Peachy in Alabama, AMG in Alabama, and many others. Hang on. We're going to be right to you. But first, I want to play another clip. Now, you know, mayors against gun vi illegal guns, they're all about stopping gun violence. They don't care about other forms of violence. They want to get you afraid of guns, so afraid of guns that you will take all of them off the street. Just as Feinstein has said, she wants Mr. and Mrs. America to give up all of their guns. In this story that broke out of Beaumont, Texas, just outside of Houston earlier, this is a guy who was promoting a new store opening, a new gun store opening, standing outside in a banana suit, an 18 year old. He was holding an AK-47 across his back with a barrel pointing down. And the officers say that they detained the 18-year-old and found that he had a rifle with a drum magazine that was attached with at least a 50-round capacity. Isn't that scary? Now, notice what they didn't say. They didn't say that it was loaded. They didn't say that he was using it in a menacing manner. They didn't say that he had broken the law because it wasn't loaded. He wasn't menacing anybody with it. It was perfectly legal to do that. But they want you to be afraid of it. So they talk about how this is an AK-47 an assault rifle, and it also has a 50 magazine, 50 round magazine capacity on it. So this is something you should be very much afraid of. This is a campaign to get people afraid of an inanimate object, irrationally afraid of it. Here's what Eric Holder said about and it. And what we need to do is change the way in which people think about guns, especially young people. One thing that I think is clear with young people and with adults as well is that we just have to be repetitive about this. It's not enough to simply have a, a catchy ad on a Monday and then only do it every Monday. We need to do this every day of the week and just really brainwash people into thinking about guns in a vastly different way. See, this is an effort to brainwash people. This is equivalent to reefer madness, where they demonized marijuana. Remember that? Remember the propaganda campaign? This is exactly the same sort of thing. They want to produce not only ignorance, but fear. 
of this inanimate object. And we've seen what happens in the drug war with that. As I mentioned before, former prosecutor from Cook County, that's Chicago, Illinois, said that 80% of the shootings there were over illegal drugs. The war on drugs in prohibition are what is creating most of this violence. The mass shootings are done by people on SSRI drugs. Now, of course, that's coming from big pharma. So the government that is profiteering from the war on drugs doesn't want this stopped. And the big pharmaceuticals, who are the big sponsors of the media, as well as ties to many in the government, they don't want to see the SSRIs stopped either. So we're not going to address the root cause of the violence. Instead, we're going to just let it continue to go on. This is Alex Jones' report about the government's involvement in the death of Philip Seymour Hoffman, who died this week. The tragic overdose death of Philip Seymour Hoffman, the Academy Award-winning actor, is an illustration of what a fraud the war on drugs is. He died, reportedly, of a heroin overdose of a particularly strong type, of course, out of Afghanistan, known as the Ace of Spades. And soon after, they raided and arrested four people in connection to selling him the heroin. Well, the heroin is processed out of opium that comes from Afghanistan. Before the liberation of Afghanistan in 2001, less than 7% of world opium production came out of Afghanistan. Today, it's over 93%, approaching 97%. Ladies and gentlemen, this is simply incredible. Because you have the war on drugs making the opium illegal so that the black market can be controlled by big banks and the government, and so they can shut down their competition while filling the prisons with the low-level dealers who are compartmentalized. Our troops, on record, grow the opium and protect it, and it's then shipped out of the country. The Russians have complained about this. The Europeans have complained about this. NATO is heavily involved in trafficking the narcotics out with the Pentagon. The Taliban finances much of its operations by selling opium, which is grown from poppies, which are right now being harvested. So here's the question, why are American troops now helping Afghan farmers grow that opium? In western Kandahar, poppy farmers score, kill, harvest their crop, and the Americans do nothing to stop them. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, and in a sense, uh, you're watching as uh, this opium is being grown. I know it, it grinds at your gut. Uh, how do you deal with it? What are you doing about it? Well, uh, frankly, this is a part of their culture. So uh, while it might grind in my gut, it, it's what they do. And now, because the public's begun to wake up to this, they've hidden it in plain view with Fox News, ABC News, you name it, BBC, the list goes on and on, coming out and going, yeah, the troops kind of guard it. They don't like it, but that's their culture. We, we provide them security, we're providing them resources, and we're providing them alternatives. And the Marines are doing the good thing. Uh, Dave, Clayton, and Allison, back to you guys in New York. He just explains it better than we can ever read in any paper what a dilemma it is with the opium trade. And they make so much money off the opium per yard there. They make so much money compared to those yeah. other crops. They're not guarding it because it's the Afghan culture. They're guarding it because they're ramping up production, giving them the fertilizer to ship it in worldwide. $500 billion a year in opium profits alone. The British were able to bring down the Chinese government over a 50-year period because the Chinese made opium illegal. And so the British could infiltrate with it and make huge profits and buy off the local governments. That same system has been done by these offshore mega banks that are laundering hundreds of billions of dollars of the money each year. The police have been corrupted with asset forfeiture seizure. The list goes on and on. Think about it. Our government helps grow and ship the opium out of Afghanistan. And then at the same time, has the nerve to arrest low-level dealers that sell it to people like Hoffman who tragically die. There is a scourge of heroin in the last 12 years flooding the world out of Afghanistan. And our criminal government, run by offshore megabanks, is at the wheel driving the entire thing. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars Nightly News. Back to David Knight. The war on drugs. I should say the war of drugs because, as Alex pointed out, it's being grown and trafficked by the CIA and others in our government. It has been the justification for decades 
for the state of the art, for the cutting edge of destroying our civil liberties as well as militarizing the police. That's where they started these SWAT teams. They said we have to have them to go in for the big drug raids. Now they're using them for everything. And now they're going to the war on terror because that's the next progression. People are starting to wake up to the futility, to the insanity of drug prohibition. You have a lot of law enforcement officers, former judges, former attorneys who are waking up, who are speaking out against this, telling people exactly what Alex just said. This is something that is in the government's interest. It is not in the people's interest. The SAFE Act isn't the only example, but it's certainly one of the ones that, that points the most to the fact that our government isn't listening to the people and we are the government. And that's the police chief in New York who's spoken out against the SAFE Act. That's the one that I was reading to you about before, that banned the possession of any high-capacity magazines because, remember, they're scary. That was one of the basis of uh, them going after this guy dressed like a banana carrying an empty AK-47. But he had a high-capacity magazine, so we've got to arrest that guy outside of Houston. And registering ammunition. This is going through New York, and this, is, this sheriff, who ju you just heard there, is part of a lawsuit to stop that unconstitutional act, just as Sheriff Mack and other constitutional sheriffs stopped some of the Brady Bill provisions back in, uh, I guess it was about 20 years ago that Sheriff Mack did that. But he's also saying that he's not going to break the law. He's not going to enforce an unjust law. And, you know, we have to stand up as individuals and we have to say that as jurors, we're not going to enforce unjust, unconstitutional laws. We have to stop being rubber stamps for the system. And we need to understand that our juror, job as a juror is to look not just at the facts of the case and accept the laws as a given, but to also look at the justice of the laws. That's how they stopped alcohol prohibition, is how people have been pushing back against marijuana prohibition. Now we see that it's been legalized in several different states. This is how we take our freedoms back. We have to get involved. We have to educate others. That's what we're about here. That's what Prison Planet TV is about. You can support that with your subscription. You can pass that out to other people so they can see the news, so they can see it from a different perspective, so they can understand what's going on and not be brainwashed by Eric Holder and others who are lying to us about their agenda, who are using very clever PSYOP techniques on the American public. We need to push back against that. We need to do everything we can to inform each other. We're going to be talking to those who are called in. We've got on the phone uh, Jalen and many others who've been patiently waiting. And we're going to be right back after the break. We're going to take your phone call. So stay tuned. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to big pharma. The fight against the new world order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products, and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. 
Coast to Coast, direct from Austin.